Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do when your mouse pointer lags or almost freezes or at least stutters. So sometimes you have it when you move your mouse pointer around and then it is really slow. I mean, slow doesn't mean uh, this thing here, which you can uh, move around, you can uh, yeah here the motion you can select a pointer speed when you go to the mouse settings on your Windows 10 then you have this setting in the pointer option you can select slow fast wherever you have it is when you set it on slow it's something like this and when you set it on fast then it's uh, really fast when you move it in the same time uh, same uh, speed I'm not talking about this I'm talking about when you move it at a normal pace normal speed and it's like laggier or slower than normal and it usually produces a lot of shade like when i move it around here you it's hard to see any shade but when you have a real problem you will see some shades like uh it uh, some shade uh, shady copies of this mouse pointer dragging behind and I had this last couple of days and weeks so I was a li little bit into investigating into that what could be the problem what we can do and so so a first thing which is really important of course uh, there is it is always good to do a virus scan whatever you have like the Microsoft uh, Defender or if you have uh, other virus scanners like from Google Chrome Google Chrome has one built in for free I have done another video about that if you need that you can search in my channel for that or I mean you can just go, uh, click and go to the Windows you hit the Windows key and then start typing Defender and then you get to the Windows Defender settings and you can uh, open a full scan. Yeah, virus and scan protect you can do here a full scan now. And if it doesn't find something, if you still have the idea that it's a, it's a virus, download other things. I have done so many videos uh, recently about free virus scanners so um yeah it, there are plenty of opportunities yeah I, also with the chrome browser uh, when you go to the settings and uh, then you uh, search for virus uh, you will find it and you can scan it so there are plenty of opportunities so i don't go into that but that's also a really good option but what's also a, a possibility is I've heard that the virus scanners uh, themselves can be a problem. So I don't know if they are just consuming too much CPU or they think that the uh, mouse is some kind of virus and they are scanning permanent uh, constantly. I mean, please check if you have multiple virus scanners like me. This could be a problem, doesn't have to be. I mean, I am running a couple of these scanners simultaneously and usually there's absolutely no problem with that. But check here in the SysTray if you have like a Norton and McAfee and Malwarebytes and so on and so on. Sometimes you have a couple of them and that could be a problem. So uh, I would then probably reduce to the Windows Defender, which is, my, in my opinion, the best and best integrated into the Windows system. Yeah, remove everything except that. So it could also be that uh, there is some, there are some other, uh, like other programs um, stopping out the mouse. So go to the task manager. So that's usually also type the window key and then type task manager. Here we have the task manager. So what I usually recommend is going to a performance tab and then click on resource manager and then click on average uh, CPU here. 
so and then you see which programs are consuming how much cpu on average and let it run for some time and it, it, you will find if something is uh, using too much cpu and then usually it comes to drivers mouse drivers sometimes uh, people let's say who have standard mouse they're using windows drivers but a lot of people like uh, gamers other people they have their special mouse and mouse drivers and um, yeah especially if you have a high-end or higher price mouse let's say maybe usually uh, more than 30 dollars or something like that usually you have your own driver so you can go to settings and then go to the apps where do we have that strange didn't do that so we try again so go to the settings and usually you can go then to the apps yeah i think i was stuck in another uh, system setting so usually you really when, when you have yeah i'll do it again <laughs> sorry yes it was because of I was already in the other settings. So when you click here, settings, and then usually you get to apps here, and then uh, search by your mouse. Let's say if you have, yeah, I don't <laughs> have, have a mouse name at the moment, but uh, anything uh, what you have, let's say your your mouse is called Lotus. Yeah, you type here. I don't know why I can't type. Yeah, I'm a little bit in trouble at the moment. <laughs> it's really strange. I can't even type here. Uh, my system is doing what, what it wants. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, type in here and then search. And so if it comes up with a driver, special driver, special software for your mouse, you can uninstall. I mean, it does not always help, but it could sometimes it's even it's it's just too much i mean if you don't need all these fancy settings so many uh like uh, different dpi settings different colors di di different profiles and so on if you just need standard settings then usually these software the, these huge driver softwares are definitely too much and i've been also doing that i've been i went here googled for my mouse name i found it and then i clicked here and uh, clicked on uninstall and gone and that also helped me a little bit what you can also do by the way if you have uninstalled your application driver it should go to the windows 10 system default driver but you can check if it's uh, okay i mean uh, you uh, again you type uh, the window key and then start typing um, device uh, yeah you have to type a little bit more i was checking on that you have to do the right device manager so and then it should come up with this overview what uh, equipment you have installed and then you have to go down and search if you have something like a mouse and then go here right click and then maybe update driver i mean yeah also you have these things here driver again you can update driver and then search automatically for updated driver software something like this and uh, windows will tell you if there is something new around which is maybe more efficient or has less box or something like that and you can then install so i am uh, not doing that at the moment uh, or yeah i mean Win windows here says anyway windows has determined that the best driver for this device is already installed uh, yeah okay of course there is always or there could be something on the man manufacturer side but usually uh, most devices or most mice should run perfectly with the uh, windows system driver and it's really 
they are lean drivers most of the manufactured drivers are huge bulky slow using a lot of memory cpu and so if you don't need all these features my recommendation is really get rid of these things they are usually not needed so and my last recommendation here to make this not too long go to click again windows type mouse we have mouse settings here then on the right side we have uh, additional mouse settings here we have to go to the left side to find that here that's the picture which I've been showing you at the beginning uh, to uh, double double click speed then the pointer speed and there's one thing here which uh, a lot of people are not aware of that and this could be a huge difference the enhanced pointer precision so I usually work with that so click on that and click apply or okay i think okay uh at its own it it's uh, good enough and sometimes it is a huge difference i've been trying to uh yeah this morning i've been trying that and i had the, the impression that it changed a lot if you have it already maybe uh deselect and click try it with with uh yeah unchecked uh, enhance power precision if you don't have it checked uh, try it with, with the enhanced pointer precision so usually i i was using it with enhanced pointer precision and i had the impression that it's doing a really good job for me and sometimes even made it more accurate more uh yeah like uh, not lagging and so on uh not um yeah just 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 not 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 lagging behind that that that's it uh, that is what we want actually so yeah i mean there are a lot of other solutions a lot of people say yeah you uh, update uh, update everything update even the graphics card of your pc you can do thousands of times but i think i have been showing you now the, maybe the top five points or something like that what you can do uh, I mean, there are at the end probably 100 things which you could do. I, so I do not guarantee that after you have been following my recommendations that it will solve everything, all the problems. This is such a wide variety of problems around, but I think this will probably um, eliminate problems of lagging mouse or laggy mouse for about 90 percent of the people or so if it works for you so it would be really nice if you could leave a comment and let you let us know what you did and what helped what really helped for you would be really nice to uh, give some feedback to all the other viewers of this video and so yeah i, I just uh, hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time